The liver is one of the most hard-working organs we have in the body. Over 500 functions every day. It regulates hormones, produces cell components, detoxifies the entire system, and much, much more. So when was the last time you helped it function? When was the last time you had it clean, or at least took something to optimize how it works? So in today's video, I'm going to reveal to you what a perfect liver cleanse looks like in five simple steps that detoxifies your body and your liver naturally and effectively. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, to my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you don't know my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need all of quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and stay till the end of this video I'm going to share extra tips and video links related to this topic. The liver is a truly miraculous organ with over 500 functions. It participates in immune control, digestion, detoxification, building proteins, and it does so many things that it's truly miraculous. Now curiously enough, one of the most important functions it has is detoxification. The liver is in charge of cleaning out toxins that you might ingest in foods, medications, cellular debris, and any substance that might damage your cells. So if you've never done a liver cleanse to remove toxic buildup over the years, you're an optimal candidate to do one as soon as possible. So in today's video, I'll reveal to you what a perfect liver cleanse looks like in five simple steps that detoxifies your body and your liver naturally and effectively. Number one, stop eating junk food. It's important to understand that in order for you to do a good liver cleanse, it's absolutely necessary that you stop ingesting toxins every day. It's absolutely useless to do an entire treatment without fixing the underlying problem, which is what you put on your plate. You see, you can take all the pills, vitamins, supplements, in the world, out in the market out there. But the truth is that your liver will still be toxic. You're still eating toxic substances. So let's go over a quick list of foods you should be avoiding. Processed foods, canned foods, maybe even sodas, coloring, preservatives, anything that has chemicals, maybe even, you know, pesticides. Think of your liver. Think of everything it has to digest with everything you are eating. So be careful with these foods. Try to eat natural, organic, buy yourself foods that you can make at home that you make sure are not containing hydrogenated oils or fats or whatever. Make sure that your food is healthy. That's the first step and an easy step to do. Obviously, the only thing you need to do is change the way you eat. That's it. If you need something natural that can help you cleanse your liver and do it appropriately, healthy, by the way, look for Thistolescence and Appleizer from Fineland at DrLandivar.com. Number two, start juicing. One very important component of liver cleanses are vegetables. Vegetables can detoxify your liver. Specific vegetables, not all of them. Now, obviously, the problem with eating vegetables is that the normal amounts of vegetables are not enough to do a liver cleanse. That's why we recur or we go ahead and do juicing. We juice on them. So what I suggest you do is juice on a variety of raw vegetables that are meant to do just this. Cleanse your liver. For example, celery, kale, broccoli, mixed with maybe carrots, cucumbers, and beets. Those are the best six vegetables for your liver cleanse. And you need to try these vegetables maybe by mixing or adding some flavor, maybe fresh herbs, parsley, mint, whatever you want. Just make sure that you juice on them and you juice for a, at least a week or two to make sure that your liver can actually help itself with the vegetables you are ingesting. If you need something natural that can help you with this, look for multivitamin from Fineland, which contains more than 42 different fruit and vegetable extracts specific for liver cleanses and body cleanses overall. Number three, use coffee enemas. I don't know if you knew this, but coffee enemas have been used for decades now to do liver cleanses. And you might ask yourself, what does an enema have to do with the liver? Well, one of the pioneers of coffee enemas, Dr. Gerson, who used to use coffee enemas in cancer patients, discovered that coffee enemas can actually improve your liver and incentivate the liver to release all the toxins it has accumulated. What apparently it does is relieve constipation, reduce fatigue, aid the liver in detoxification, and much more. 
What you can do is buy yourself some organic coffee, that's all you need. Combine it with two tablespoons of grounded coffee and maybe three cups of filtered water in a pot and boil it. That's all you need to do. After boiling it, make sure to let the coffee cool down to you know, maybe the same temperature that you have inside and use it as a coffee enema. Do it once or twice a week, that's enough. If you need something natural for this purpose that can clean your colon at the same time, look for Laxi Prune and Metathyroid from Finland at drlandemar.com. Number four, use supplements. Nowadays, it's very easy, right, to find a supplement that can fit your need, and obviously a liver cleanse is one of those needs that we all have. Some of these supplements are, for example, some of the ones you can use are milk thistle. Very, very important for the liver. This herb is considered the king of detoxifying herbs, ideal for liver cleanses. Milk thistle helps eliminate the buildup of prescription drugs, medications, heavy metals, alcohol toxicity, and more. Now, obviously, you can find milk thistle by itself or concentrated silymarin or milk thistle in that has a better effect and most uh, negative effect on the liver in every aspect. If you need something natural that has a 50 to 1 concentration, listen to that, 50 to 1 concentration, meaning 50 capsules is the same to one concentrated formula in, of, of milk thistle, look for Thistle Essence from Finland at drlandivar.com. Another very important herb you can use is turmeric. Turmeric is a herb that supports a healthy liver function also. Reduces joint pain, aids in digestion, restores blood sugar balances in your body, does a whole lot of things. It's an antidepressant. Then you have dandelion root. Dandelion root has is a natural diuretic effect. It helps the liver eliminate toxins. It helps the liver detoxify. It helps the liver function. It has many, many functions. It also strains your immune system, balances out blood sugar levels, relieves heartburn, digestion, you name it. There are many herbs you can use for your liver. It can also have an effect on other organs and that might something be something you want to check out. I really recommend you do so. Number five, the foods that you should be consuming regularly. You need to prioritize foods that can really remove toxins from your gut on a daily basis. That will help your liver. Remember, linseed, for example, chia seeds, then you have celery, you have green apples, very important for liver function, for a fatty liver, reducing fatty liver disease. You have fermented foods that contain probiotics, also extremely important. Adding probiotics to your diet is another way of cleaning your colon and cleaning your liver. If you need something like this that has more than 18 different probiotic strains and more than 50 billion units of probiotics per capsule. Look for ProBillion from Finland at DrLandivar.com. And help out the channel by giving a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or an online appointment, visit DrLandivar.com and check out these other videos for your information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you soon.